Welcome back Western Slope. It's a terrific Thursday morning and it's 514 AM and if you're on the way to your morning commute right now, take a look outside. We've got cloudy skies and those cloudy skies are going to continue with us throughout the day and a slight chance for some clear up as the afternoon continues on. Now if we want to take a look at our weather headlines, we've got winter showers expected all along the continental divide today um, below seasonal average temperatures expected in uh, essentially all of the Western Slope and sub those sub freezing temperatures are expected to stick with us even into the early work week. Uh, now our winter countdown folks six days away. I know I keep saying this, but with these continual showers, um, even in the higher elevation areas with this holiday tr uh, travel weekend coming up and two more after this weekend, I want you folks to be safe on those roads. So I'm going to continue to remind you to make sure you've got anything in your car. You might need it in case of a roadside emergency and make sure you've got those uh, snow tires or chains on you just in case you might need them for those icy roads. Now our current temperatures outside 28 degrees in Grand Junction, 20 in Montrose and further east of us we are looking to be a little bit on the cooler side of things negative two in Gunnison four in Aspen and uh, even 10 degrees in Glenwood Springs now we are just a few degrees short of our seasonal averages in all aspects if we want to take a look at our almanac right now we're rocking at 32 degrees instead of our typical 38 and on the low end we're looking at 26 and 18 so not much of a range when it comes to the temperature on the western slope we're only going to uh, uh, vary about six degrees throughout today but we are rocking in those sub freezing temperatures. So those roads folks on your morning commute, your nighttime commute could be uh, very slick and have some uh, ice uh, ice on top of it due to uh, just some moisture in the air. Now if we take a look, um, all of those storms are headed on out, which could be causing those slick roads. Now in those higher elevation areas, uh, more focused along the northern and the central mountains, we could get one to three inches of snow today. And uh, even in uh, areas like Elkhead, the Gore Range, uh, all of those areas could get up to six inches of snow. Now, in some of the valleys, we could expect uh, just a little bit less than an inch of accumulation, but uh, it should be melting uh, as our, those temperatures are just rocking at that freezing point. Now, we can expect below average temperatures uh, for today and throughout the weekend for m most of the states surrounding uh, our area. Now, nationally, if we take a look, that closed low that we have uh, uh, been tracking with that big winter storm headed across the plains is uh, going to head towards the Great Lakes, bringing them some quite chilly temperatures and those storm clouds folks are also headed towards the Great Lakes and even up uh, north of that as that cold front and that low pressure system pushes it on up and if we want to take a look at our afternoon highs today we're going to get up to 32 in Grant Junction 26 in Montrose in those low 20s as you move further east along the mountain ranges now if we take a look at our extended forecast we're rocking in those single digits throughout the weekend and even into the early work week we're going to be down in those teen temperatures now Montrose is going to have that same kind of temperature trend even getting close to that zero degree mark on Saturday so folks the trend is uh, bundle up stay warm because these cooler temperatures are here to stay on the western slope.